Hi, my name is Anya. Thank you so much for checking out this video. This is going to be a very basic tutorial to start you with abstract art and also to start with your art therapy. If you feel like you want to doodle something but you have some kind of something that blocks you or you're a bit intimidated by the white page, here we go. Let's start with the materials that you will need. And I have gathered here just a few examples, but you can take anything, like seriously, anything you have at home. So for example, if you have like very limited resources at home at this point of time, we can do this. Normal ball pan, blue ball pan, or a normal pencil, like I have here, just a very, very simple, basic normal pencil. Um, black marker, can be any kind of marker, any color, anything you want. And I have, for example, like this highlighter, highlighter pen that I got for my job. Just three different things. Um, basically, like you can use just this actually because it has three different colors. And also you will need some paper and you can take anything. You can take, you know, you can take this. Totally fine. A little bit better if it doesn't have any lines or anything like that. But if you don't have it, take this, it's fine. So let's draw. And I will draw it in digital just because it's much easier to film and to show you. But imagine those things I'm doing are actual paper and pen. So let's say I'm gonna do it today with this thin, thin normal pencil and with this black marker. And I'm gonna use this pink highlighter because I love pink, as you can see. Now think about some sound, some sound that you like. It's a very pleasant sound. For example, when I do this, I will automatically think about my son laughing. So take that sound that you enjoy, and uh, it could be a song, it could be some music, it could be any kind of sound that you enjoy. And think about the sound and determine which one of those three tools that passes the best to it. Let's say my son laughing, maybe I would take this pencil. It feels, I don't know why, it just feels great about that. Now we're gonna determine some form about it. And form can be anything. It can be like lines, dots, it can be round circle, it can be like a wobble, it can be anything. So just close your eyes, listen to the sound inside of your head and think which shape passes the best to that sound. So my favorite sound, as I said before, was the um, sound of my son laughing. And when I close my eyes and I remember his laugh, I try to come up with some shape that passes the best for it. And for some reason, the shape that is like staying in my brain is, is this kind of shape, some kind of an exploding plump. <laughs> and uh, not only that, but it feels like I wanted to kind of have like, this um, lines coming from the center. Like it's, I don't know, like it's growing up for me. But at the same time, I want you to understand that shape, like shape can be, you know, circle, triangular, square, you know, those typical shapes. But it's not only those I'm meaning, you know, when I'm talking about this. I also mean that maybe your shape is going to be just lines, a group of lines, like that, or, or wavy lines. Or maybe it's going to be like a few shapes together, like a few circles together, for example, or... Or maybe it's going to be like a very specific thing, like an eye, like a schematic eye, for example. That could be it also. Um, could be dots, dots, just like a few dots, maybe. Can be anything, uh, anything that comes to your mind, or like a simple shape, like just, you know, or not simple, <laughs> just some shape like that could also work. So. And then you can think like, do you want to maybe fill it up with some color, you know, or maybe not, or maybe you want to um, have that shape, having some other shapes inside. So those nuances, like those things, this is this is exactly what where this is exactly where I want you to close your eyes, reconnect to that sound, your favorite sound, and try to get out some kind of visual presentation to what you feel when you think about that pleasant sound. Yeah, my sound, again, is this this kind of flower-like explosive shape, and that, that represents to me, it represents my son laughing. Now let's go to smell. Think about some smell that you enjoy. For me, I would say that it's like apple pie cooking in the stove, that's that 
excited, very, very cozy, small in the house. And we do the same thing, which, which of the stuff passes the best. For example, I think that this pink highlighter would be the best. And which shape do you feel like it has? Maybe it has some like lines in it, or maybe it has some kind of doodle in it. So determine which shape you feel about that smell. I'm imagining that I have that apple pie standing in the oven and how it smells. So I feel like this wavy lines are representing that smell to me. And again, that's my representation. Your representation of your shape can be anything. It can be, you know, some kind of symbol. It can be some kind of form, random form, or it can be just um, like a group of, of, of shapes or some lines, like it can be anything. Close your eyes and try to feel that smell. And that is representation of the smell. And then we're gonna do the same with the taste. So think about some taste that you enjoy a lot. This is a hard one. I think I like passion fruit taste a lot. <laughs> and well, now I have just the marker left, so I'm gonna use marker for it. And we're gonna determine some shape which passes very well with that taste. Close your eyes, feel that taste, and think which shape really goes along well with the favorite taste of yours. My favorite taste is passion fruit at the moment. When I think about my favorite taste, I think about passion fruit. And it's like very sour, mm, 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 and it has this great aroma to it, and also it has the seeds in there. For me, it kind of represents those crunchy seeds in there. Passion fruit, so it's just, just a quick bunch of, of those black seeds. Um, that's my representation of passion fruit. Now when we have three shapes, we will start filling up the paper that you have with those three shapes. First, we will divide it in three pieces or three areas. And you can divide it, you know, you can divide it like this. One, two, three, you know, three areas. Or you can divide it in like any kind of way. Maybe you want to divide it like this, for example, and you know, one, two, three. Or maybe you want to divide it in some more exotic way, like like that maybe, I don't know, like this is one, this is two, and you know, all this around, all this other stuff around here is three. So again, just fill your inner guts with what they're telling you and divide your piece of paper in some cool way. So maybe I'll divide my piece of paper like that and like this. So that's my area number one, area number two, and area number three. Now in area number one, I am going to fill up sound. And in area number two, I will fill it up with my presentation of my favorite smell. Right? Smell. In area number three, I will fill it up with my favorite taste. My areas. And I will start with my pencil. It was like this kind of clumpy shape with lines going out of it like that. So I can do it in any kind of size. It's very tiny like this, or I could do it like very, very big, like it doesn't even feel, fit on my paper, it's like out there somewhere out of my paper. And even like, yeah, it's a little bit smaller than the previous one, very, very little, I don't know. But I could do all of them very big also, you know? I want like you to kind of also feel for it, like do you feel passes here? What do you feel more comfortable with? What is more fun to you? How do you see this? All right, so now I filled out this area with my favorite sounds. We go to the next area. And that one is my favorite smells. And as you remember, I feel like my favorite smell is just this like a wavy line. I see the wavy lines filling up the room. So I feel like this is the cool. It's just fill up like this. So maybe like that. Maybe I could fill it up also, you know, in some other direction like this. Or like random one like that, one like this. You know, it's up to you. How do you feel, how do you feel your favorite smell filling up that area of your paper? Now, I'll continue with my area number three, which is my favorite taste. And my favorite taste was passion fruit, and I had black marker representing it. And my black marker is about like this size. And my favorite smell of passion fruit, or taste of passion fruit, was represented by this kind of dots, which came to me, they stand for those seeds inside of passion fruit. So I can, I feel like I want to just have like these groups of them. Here's a group and then maybe we'll have a group which is like much bigger here. It's very like this big, not very big, but like medium size big maybe. 
so and here like that maybe here even bigger and darker so this is the result this is my first page and the result looks like something like this I already like it I think it's I think it's fun now let's take paper number two and here we'll make a salad of things we'll just mix all the different shapes together so do a few of the sound shapes first add a little bit of the taste shapes and top it up with the smell my favorite sound was represented by this flower like kind of exploding shape with lines going out like that and I want to just have a few of those here and you know your shapes don't need to have always they need to always look the same they just kind of need to be in the same family or shape I'll say just kind of every time trying to find a new shape in a way reusing the same idea of it now I'm making a few of my favorite sound shapes so and one last one is here and allow yourself making mistakes or, I don't know, things that feel wrong first, but then you will see in time that it actually works. Now I will take, I will think about my favorite, uh, my favorite smell, which is apple pie. And so I'm going to add those baby lights here and they are just going to go around, I don't know, just in some different ways going around. Can okay, go there? Yes. Make it the app. And now last one is my favorite taste which is passion fruit and I'll take it like the end and my passion fruit I present in this like dots which stand for the seeds in the passion fruit and then they're like grouped together yeah so I add them in different places like that a bit bigger a bit smaller so I like this actually a lot. I think it's pretty pretty cute. Um, here is my so here is my drawing number two, and this is my drawing number one using the same shapes. And drawing number two, and drawing number one. Cool. Huh? I hope you had fun doing your drawings. If you did something and you enjoy your result and you want to share, please feel free to comment me down here below or send me a private message here or on Instagram. It would be great to have a conversation going. And please give me your feedback. What was good about this tutorial? What was not so good about this tutorial? What do you think would be good to discuss next time? Check out my profile. I will be adding tutorials like this every week. And next time we are going to do our negative tastes and smells and senses. So we connect with our positive senses now and then we will connect with our negative senses. And then we will do all different tweaks and tricks and see where all these different shapes and colors and experiences can take us. And from there, we will build the basic vocabulary of tools and materials surrounding us and how we can use them to create and express ourselves in all different kind of ways. See you next time. Bye bye.